Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So, guys, I just got to share with you guys this. This is out of the sun. And, uh, you know, this will go up on the first channel, which has been demonetized, as well as I know I've heard about more and more channels being demonetized. So it's cool. So we just, you know, we share with you what what we can. And, you know, just like with the last video I put up, you know, where, it's, you know, some people are, are thinking it's pretty cool. You know, other people think that it's all CGI, you know, and um, and and the like, you know, everybody's got to make their own decision. Just make your own decision on what you're seeing. You know, nobody's trying to convert you to anything except for to open our minds enough so that we can actually start working together again. You know, as a society, if you want to go back to the, you know, Tower of Babel, when they came down, scattered us and, and uh, you know, made us all speak a different language so that we can't communicate and so that they could easily control us and manipulate one against the other. Check this out. So, you know, uh, he was supposedly on life support and on a ventilator. Mm, just it feels like there's a big, big show going on. There's a lot of BS going on. And so this is from the sun and it's, you know, Boris, uh, that's his name, right? Yeah, Boris Johnson, Prime Minister Boris Johnson. And he's, he's, he's announcing, you know, hey, I'm okay, I'm okay. It was a hell of a fight. I'm sure Prince Charles went through a hell of a fight too. Yeah, sure, right, yeah. You know, all these people supposedly getting it and getting sick. Um, you know, perhaps part of the disinfo campaign. Uh, you know, we have to make our own decisions on it. So basically he's here and he's just, you know, for one, he's, he's, he's just talking about his fight. But look at his eyes. Does does his right eye look normal to you? Hmm. Kind of looks like it's vertical, does it not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. And this one, this is one I've seen a little bit of stuff done on CGI, so this isn't easy to fake because it, it's it happens while he's talking. Yeah, I mean he, he's giving it to you, and you could see pretty damn clear. And now it's starting to get more round. But it still looks weird. It still looks screwed up. And so when you look at this and, and we have a still to take a peek at, is that a normal human eye? No, that's, oh my gosh, that's, yeah, it, I know maybe one of you guys knows in the Emerald Tablets, they talked about how the vibration will fail and these people will be seen out in public does anybody remember anything in the emerald tablets about that you know I've, I've gone through them a few times it's been a couple years I, I don't remember that particular part of it and again you know I'm not trying to sell you anything either because this this whole video is just you know it's it's giving our time away for free it's just throwing things out there it's making us a bigger target so, you know, I'm not trying to convince you of anything um, except for to just wake up. Wake up, people. Wake up as much as possible to everything that's going on here because most definitely there is a, an attack on humanity going on by some entities that are not exactly uh, human when you get down to it. Um, we just watched two cult classics last night. We just took some time to just kind of like have a few laughs. So we watched Night of the Comet from 1984, cheesy and campy as can be. Curiously enough, though, we have that comet coming by, which now seems to be disintegrating. Perhaps, perhaps not. We'll see. And then the other one was They Live with Rowdy Roddy Piper, um, which was, you know, a cult classic. And, and Cindy, you know, Cindy enjoyed it. I turned off the cell phones. <laughs> There's some signal that comes through the cell phones. I just know it in my heart. That really resonated with me disturbingly deep. Yeah, because they do talk about that. And you know what else they brought up? And, you know, this is perhaps uh, another topic for another video. They referenced the famous uh, date of 2025 in that movie. 2025. Hmm. Interesting. And, uh, yeah, very interesting. Because, you know, we've talked about that at length. Everything is out there for us. And uh, everything is there to see. Um, you know, and just because 
there might be a fake alien invasion doesn't mean there's not aliens. That's what they want you to think. You know, they want you to think it's all angels and demons. You know, that's the medieval mindset that only really existed with the formation of the church. And still, even though people are not necessarily Catholic or, you know, um, you know, they might have a different denomination. They could be anything, evangelical, Baptist, whatever. It all comes out of the Catholic Church because it all comes out of the Bible that they gave us, of which there's only four Gospels and not 200 or more, which were in circulation. There's none of the Gnostic texts that were burnt because those texts talk about going within and the church needed you to go to them. And you're still going to them, whether you realize it or not, if you're going only through the book they gave you. Because that book is extremely limited. Genesis 6 is just a tiny little bit uh, of what's covered in the book of Enoch. And then that's still just, you know, small compared to what's covered in the Sumerian tablets. And that's still small when you compare it to the entire just volumes and volumes and volumes of information that's given to us from every culture on the planet, every single culture on the planet that paints a much clearer picture when you study everybody's traditions and, and get ourselves out of just be, the one tradition we were brought up with. Expand your thinking. Go deeper, you know. And so uh, just because there may be a fake alien invasion and, and you know, that doesn't mean that there's no aliens or that all aliens are demons or fallen angels. The word demon is Greek from the word daemon. It comes from the Greek root daemon, which basically originally meant like a nature spirit. And angel, you know, means messenger. That's it. That's, that's where it comes from. Look into the semantics, understand the origin of words. The context has been formed by the powers that be in your mind. So you have to expand your thinking to get past the context and not throw the baby out with the bathwater. So, you know, uh, is there going to be a fake alien invasion? Probably. Is there going to be also uh, a fake threat from asteroids? Probably. Will there be things that actually hit us? Probably. Because, you know, got to make it look good. And everything, everything that we see that is attributed to the wrath of God, you know, in the Bible, for instance, can be manufactured by the technology that exists today. Everything from earthquakes to controlling the weather, all that can be done by humans or perhaps non-human beings. So, very interesting. Ah, you got there, Boris. Oh my gosh, that's that's a pretty good trick. That's a good that's a good party trick. <laughs> yeah, right. As always, my friends, thank you for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon. Stay safe, stay open-minded. God bless and namaste. Namaste.